A teenage boy who lost his life while doing a social media challenge was given a hero's salute as he was taken into surgery to donate his organs. Mason Bogart's family says he participated in what's known as the choking challenge. He had tried challenges before, nothing this, you know, extreme, but just the little challenges that kids do, the silly ones that seem so innocent, you know, ice bucket challenge, things like that. But this challenge wasn't so innocent. It encourages people to cut off their own air supply until just before they become unconscious. Mason was found unresponsive in his room on May 1st and was later declared brain dead. His family decided to donate his organs knowing that is what he would want. If he could help someone, he would give whatever he had. So I think we just were very sure that this is something he would want. I think it too is just it's a continuation of who he was. Hospital staff, friends and family lined the hallways to honor Mason on his way to his final act of kindness. His family was touched by the show of support. We thought there would be some nurses in the hallway. They said they have an honor walk and we thought a few friends, um, but we had no idea there would be that many people yeah, there just, supporting him. It was very him. overwhelming and uh, in a good way. Uh, yes. Mason had a kind of patriotism that could bring a tear to the eye of a five-star general. If he saw a veteran, he would remove his hat, walk over, shake their hands, and thank them for their service. Mason was remembered for being generous and adventurous as his loved ones got to say their final goodbyes. Good job, bro. Good job, buddy. I love you. <laughs> Good job, Mason. Good job. If we had to use one word, he was extraordinary. He was bigger than this world. He was caring, heartfelt, honest. Um, very giving. Very. Family and friends wore shirts with the hashtag Mason's message. For Mason's message, you know, don't be afraid to parent. Don't be afraid to say, let me see what you're putting on the internet. Let me see what you're putting on um, your social media. Let me see what you're texting people and just stay on top of that. It's a message the family will continue to spread to keep their son's memory alive and help prevent other families from experiencing the same heartbreak. Someone had said this is the new norm. Um, <laughs> I want my old norm back, but uh, you know, we'll find, we'll find sunny memories.